Hello and welcome to my tutorial for summoning in multiple mobs with a single command in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I'm remaking this video because the old version of this is now broken due to some syntax changes in the execute command that occurred a couple months ago. So first things first, you can pause the video to copy the command and I'm going to show you a demonstration of how it works. All right, there you go. And as you can see, there is, I don't know how, if you can tell exactly how many bats, but there's a hundred there, or there were. Um, the second command is going to summon 42 pigs at a specific location. And uh, it's very important that you only do one of those two things, right? Spawn it based off of the position of an entity, or spawn it based off of a specific coordinate, because it can cause problems if you try to do it differently. So the basic idea of how it functions is that it nests a whole bunch of execute commands inside of each other, right? So you see I have 10 entities, then 10 entities equals 100 entities, right? So if each one of those first 10 entities runs a command to tell an additional 10 entities, then that multiplies together to get 100. So that means you have 100 commands executing at the same time that each summon one bat. And you can do that as much as you want to get any number that you want. Not to get technical though, but if you have a number that has very few prime factors or a very large prime factor, then uh, you're gonna have a very hard time summoning that in without having a whole bunch of pre-existing entities in your world. The reason I have all these armor stands is because you need at least the largest number that you have in that area of C equals uh, whatever, you need at least that many entities to exist in your world for it to work. So in the first command where I have C equals 10, then if I were to only have five entities in the world, it would only be able to execute upon five. This is important because if the command is only able to execute upon five entities, then it won't multiply correctly because it'll do five times five equals 25 instead of 10 times 10 equals 100. Now, um, as long as the number in that C equals uh, whatever does not get bigger than the current number of entities in the world, you can put whatever number you want. But if you're trying to put in a, like a prime number, like if you need specifically 103 zombies, then you're going to need to have 103 existing entities because there's no way to split 103 evenly by anything else besides 103 and 1. Luckily, most numbers less than 500 or so have very small prime factors, which means you can input those very small prime factors into the command block and have it work just fine. This stuff is really only part of the consideration if you're like very concerned about only having one block summon in all the entities because you're allowed to have more than one. So for the example of 103, you could do one command block that's C equals 10 and then C equals 10, right, which gets you 100. And then you can have an additional one that's just chained after it that says C equals 3. And, you know, that would be 3 plus 100, which is 103. So in order to edit the command to your liking, you're going to want to look at this area right here where it says slash execute as at E open bracket C equals number close bracket and then run. That section right there is one of the nested execute commands and you need to use another one of those every time you want to multiply a new number to the total. So if you're trying to do four, you can either just say C equals four or you can do that C equals two instead and then another one after that with it saying C equals 2, resulting in 2 times 2 equals 4. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it was long and kind of rambly. If you did enjoy the video, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed any of the B-roll I had in the background or thought it was interesting, I have videos demonstrating it and I can make tutorials for it if people are interested. Um, with the notable exception of that gun because it is so annoying to build. Not to mention the fact that I'll have to rebuild it because it doesn't work anymore. Anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one.